Nintendo, why do you make it so hard to support you? Just, just why? If you guys don't know what's going on, Nintendo is filing a lawsuit against a man who was allegedly part of a criminal organization that was used to pirate video games. Now, I'm not defending this man at all, but, uh, yeah. Nintendo's just gone, gone too far. And if you want to know the, the basics of the case, here is a quick supercut of what I did to some ordinary gamers video where he explains the basics of the case and I will give my thoughts afterwards and I will also be linking his video in the description box below or the pinned comment. Bowser wasn't just again to, to understand your lover of modded consoles. This is somebody that had an in with again one of the most notorious hacking groups ever. If there was ever a case of fuck around and find out, this is the case. This is the situation. This uh, four, 14 point five million dollar judgment that is basically brought onto him is something that he's going to be having to pay off for the rest of his life. Between twenty five to thirty percent of his money will be docked at any payment and garnished to Nintendo. So fourteen point five million dollars is garnished by a multi billion dollar company. And being that he was in prison for this time and he was working odd jobs in prison, which may as well be the payment of slave labor, he was only ever to pay off one hundred and seventy five dollars out of the fourteen. $14.5 million. So again, the point of the story here is Nintendo has absolutely gone off of the most cruel end, and just to further punish the guy who's already served prison time, they are now garnishing this person's wages until they die. And the reason we're saying until he dies is nobody is earning $14.5 million just for the sole reason to pay back. Nintendo personally believe this is excessively cruel, especially towards one individual. Yes, Gary broke the law. Gary worked with a criminal enterprise, allegedly, again, I'm going to throw it out there, that was designed to make profit by helping the piracy of Nintendo video games. Now, while piracy is illegal, and obviously there are moral, you know, discussions we can have around the topic, Topic. Somebody who serves jail time like this, in my opinion, is probably... It's, I'm not here to say that Gary is some fucking Jesus-like figure that is unfortunately falling onto the sword. Don't get me wrong. Gary made a mistake. Gary worked with bad people. Gary got caught. And Gary knew full well that when he was getting into this shit from the start, this is what this is how it was probably going to end. With Nintendo's Yakuza legal team coming to fuck in the ass. And, and, and definitely, he got screwed. He got burned, and he got burned to the tune of $14.5 million. Now, of course, this is a scenario where obviously people are rightfully saying this is a bit too excessive, but at the end of the day, this is a scenario where there is no good person. What is with Nintendo? Now, I'm in no way defending Bowser whatsoever, and it's very ironic that this man's name is Bowser, but he's going off the deep end. He's really going off the deep end. You see, for me, I think everybody should pay the consequences for the actions that they do. But like Mudahar said in the video, this man paying Nintendo off is a drop in the bucket. Nintendo will make this money back in two seconds, and I'm not justifying him. In a perfect world, we would have all the men captured and all the men taken to prison and all the men paying their share, their fair share of the profits. But we don't live in a perfect world. And this man knew what he was getting into when he participated in this type of behavior. So there's no justifying this. But also, Nintendo, you're going really overboard with this nonsense. It's just ridiculous how overboard you are going with this. Most people, like myself, agree and understand intellectual property protection. We understand this company allegedly modded systems and modded consoles so they could just do a for-profit thing. We get that. Nobody's supporting this at all. But to flat out destroy a man after he served prison time for what he's done over and over and over again, he's been punished, shows me that, you know, you're just cruel. You only care about the bottom line. You only care about your dollar. This is not, like Mudahar said, a man who is a lover of modded consoles. No, this is an individual who was doing this for money, so I fully do not support him. But you can still not support somebody and think that their punishment is overboard. Like somebody in Mudahar's comment section stated, you know it's bad when somebody gets punished worse than most child predators. This is disgusting. This is an overreach of power on Nintendo's part. This is gross. And there are no winners in this situation. Everybody here is a gross person. Everybody here is a disgusting person. You know, you, I know there's gray areas and, and questions about ROM dumping and emulation and stuff like that. But what everyone in the emulation community will agree on is that you do not do this stuff for profit. You just don't. So we're all saying this man's disgusting for what he did and that the entire group should be taken out. But Nintendo, really... You're going to just flat out destroy a human being's life where he's not going to be able to, he's going to be able to barely feed himself given this economy. And it looks like it's only going to get worse. So I'm a Nintendo fan. I love Nintendo, but they're making it really hard to support them. And it's reasons like this that people emulate stuff. But make no mistake, like I've said before, there are no winners in this case. Everybody's a loser. And this man knew exactly what he was doing when he got himself involved with this. So I feel no sympathy for him. But at the same time, this is disgusting and gross on Nintendo's part. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon if you want to see more of my content. This is Gabe of Radio Blobfish signing off saying take care and God bless. 
Peace out, everybody. And remember to be good to one another because there's way too much hatred in the world. Goodbye.